All right, guys, welcome back to more PES 6 Master League. So today we are going to be continuing on with some of the transfers. Now, as you can see, guys, um, the funds aren't looking too great at the moment, considering that, you know, we've signed a few players now and whatnot, uh, and the team salary has gone up a bit. But the only thing we can really do at this point is pick off free transfers, guys. Now, we kind of still do need a DMF and uh, an extra goalkeeper would be nice and then we're pretty much set to go but i've had to have a very long hard think about this one guys today so guys uh, i've been thinking i've been thinking i've been thinking and what i'm gonna do is go back to the we, we can really guys at this point you've got to you've got to take it sort of serious when the budget is is getting low all we can really do at this point is um buy from the non-affiliated there is literally nothing else. We've already acquired two players. We literally don't have money to spend. The only way we're going to have money to spend is if we get teams coming in for some of our players that we can sell. The first one I'm going to go for is Gilberto Silva, guys. Um, now, I was talking about this sort of in like the first couple of episodes, I think, and I kept thinking that we was priced out of him. And it, there's another one, the Stankovic as well. I keep saying that we're maybe a bit priced out of him, but then I keep thinking, actually, you know, after a long, hard think about it, guys, uh, I've decided that, well, we're only offering him a contract, so it can't be the worst thing in the world. So we're going to go ahead and apply for that. Didn't didn't we um, didn't we try for Gilberto Silva before, actually, I think? I think we did, didn't we? We might have to change this, actually. Let's up it to a thousand. Um, in fact, no, let's not go that far. Let's go... Let's go... About that. Let's do that instead. See if it comes back, guys. Um, so where's the other one? Where's the other one? Stankovic. Again... Um, yeah, it's going to bring the team salary up, but obviously we haven't got round to selling some players yet. Uh, how old is he? He's 29. Five-year deal. Do we really want a five-year deal for a 29-year-old? Uh, at this point, let's go for it, I suppose. You never know, guys. And another one on this list that I'm going to go for. Adebayo, guys. Now, I said that we really don't need any more attackers at the moment, but what you've got to remember is I'm just offering a contract. There's no extra money to be paid out other than if we... If we applied for this and 778 there if it came back all we got to do is play him 778 by the end of the season let's up it a little bit though let's up it to uh, i don't know to, i don't know let's go 785 something like that i don't know that might be uh, good guys uh now um I'm going to offer a couple of swaps, guys. I am going to offer a couple of swaps are going to be the last two things that I'm going to do because I really want to use up my five um, available transfers. And the only way I'm going to do that pretty much now is if I maybe offer swaps, I'll go for free transfers. And the free transfers, guys, I've probably much gone for kind of the best players that were available that were still left. So anyway, where is he? Uh, now, one of you suggested him is this guy right here this um, As Asati uh, he's 19 as you can see he's only earning 400 at Arsenal I'm going to open a trade who am I going to trade him for though guys I'm going to trade him for Mark Gonzalez and it's kind of ironic because my Gon Mark Gonzalez went to Arsenal in PES 5 guys <laughs> if you remember that um, in that series um, so yeah I reckon this could be a good trade uh, if it pulls off the salary uh, he was earning 400, wasn't he? So we'll offer him a little bit more. We'll offer him I don't know, 420. Try and get him on a five-year deal uh, and apply for that one, guys. So obviously, you really want to offer more than what they're actually already on. So anyway, guys, um, as you know, I still want a uh, goalkeeper and whatnot. Near Smith there, by the way. Um, uh, the only thing that I can really think of from the non-affiliated here is Tambul. Now, Tambul... Um, He's a good player, guys, of course, but um, but the thing about him is like he's pretty much the only player from the non-affiliated that I really want to go for, guys. Like, there's really nobody else, and I do definitely want to sort of bring in a backup keeper, you know, just to have three keepers on the team instead of just two. I mean, I know we have Zamenhof, but I really want to get rid of Zamenhof, you know what I'm saying, guys, so... Um you know, this guy's got 85 response. How old is he? 27? It's not too bad. But the thing about Tamble is that he will get better because he's still quite young. I think he's 22, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, he is. Um, yeah, so there isn't really too many other keepers here that uh, really stand out for me. 
Um, you know what I'm saying, guys? I, I, it's just all, all I can really think of. We might as well just have another go at trying to sign someone. This guy looks pretty good. 24 years of age. <laughs> I mean, where did he just go, all of a sudden come from? Let's uh, in fact, let's just have a quick look. Um, and Zogbeer, we couldn't get him before. Still Terry's on that list anyway. We'll check this again at the end of the uh, episode. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go for him just as a cheeky bid, guys. You never know. Um, so, uh, I don't know. You know what, let's offer 400 to start off with you never know with that let's give him a five-year deal apply for that and that is every single one guys so uh yeah let's go to today's game guys all right guys so here we are then it is the next game of the season decided that we're going to play in our way kit today why not let's have a little bit of a change uh where the bremen are going to be in their home kit even though we're meant to be the home team or whatever so yeah that's something, guys. Um, so, yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah, oh, here's Marky. Marky! Oh! Bit of an effort there from Marky early on. So, uh, yeah, Amadik's making his first appearance today. There he is. He's absolutely huge. Look at him. Here he is. Like, holy crap. Um, so, yeah, he's going to be making his first appearance. What well, he's getting right stuck in there, man. Like, he's just a boss. Anyway, uh, yeah, Mutu is going to park the Saviola at front today because, uh, you know, why not? Um, and other than that, there's not a whole lot to say, guys. Oh, great bit of uh, play there to get that one out. Excellent stuff early on. That's what we like to see. Of course, and that's going to be blocked out, unfortunately, though. So, uh, yeah, a couple of um, new signings playing today. Um, I think both Gonzalez are playing. Mafio is playing. Sagna is playing as well. He's um, he's in centre-back uh, position. Like, I, I could have sworn I put Emmerdick in the middle, but Sagna's in the middle and Emmerdick's, like, on the right. I don't know why. Yeah, I have no idea why, because I've just checked in the formation <laughs> uh, and whatnot, and that is definitely what I did. I've put Sanya on the right, like here he is. Um, Emedix in the in the centre, and I think Jarich is on the other side. So, uh, yes, and here's Wolsey. Wolsey! Off target, never mind. Got through there, but it wasn't enough. That was way off in the end, wasn't it? Um, yes, yeah, so Mutu, uh, Saviola, uh, we've got... Uh, Wolsey, I think he's on the right side we've got Mark Gonzalez on the left Normal Gonzalez is in the middle with Mafio, I believe uh, and then we've got Ben Hat Hitira or Hat Hat Hit Hitty Ben Hitty, we'll just call him um, he's in the attacking midfield uh, and whatnot, guys uh, no Chu Young today, he's sitting on the bench, he probably come on you know, sort of in the second half, of course Kushak in goal uh, hoping some of those um, bids and whatnot come back but um, we really do need to sell some players so I'm ho really hoping that we can get some offers in after this game because we really do need it now It's get we're getting a little bit desperate because if not we're not going to be able to sign anybody else and I just kind of want to make sure that we get a goal well a goalkeeper a DMF you know that that would do really if not we're just going to have to get through the season uh, without one until winter or something but we've done some good deals already anyway so I don't I don't really think we have to worry too much um, this uh, you know I mean we've assembled quite a, a large squad of players now you know what I'm saying like it's really you know, I mean, I'm, I'm loving this I mean I really I'm loving like building this team up and whatnot um, and I can't wait to see how we're going to get on in our first like big season um, of the series. It's going to be pretty epic, in my opinion. Here's Gonzi. Gonzi! Where the hell was that, Gonzi? Never mind, man. Never mind. Oh, well. Doesn't particularly matter, does it? Um, Pre-season, as I said. This is, again, though, we really could do to win this match because, again, if we win... We get the points, guys. You know what I'm saying? I've said that for the millionth time now, so get used to it, because I'll probably say it again in the next episode or whatever. But, uh, yeah, look how big, like, I, 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 should we just call him Dicky or something for the for the sake of argument? What a save that was by Kushak, even though it was offside. That was a very good save. Um, Like, man, he's huge. Look at him. Look, like, what? How tall is he, man? Like, he's going to be a beast in defence. He, he's one of them kind of centre-backs you want up on corners. Do you know what I'm saying? Here's Savvy, though. Savvy! Oh, good save. Is that hit the side netting? I thought it was a save. 
Ah, oh, you know what? Mutu was in the middle then. Never mind. Um, so, yes. Um, we're just pretty much picking off free transfers at this moment in time. There is not a whole lot we can do. Um, but... Yeah, I, I I can't wait. Like it's gonna. I think the season's just gonna be. It's gonna be re really good. I cannot wait to get into it uh, and whatnot. Here's Benny though. We've got a couple of baldies, guys. We've got we've acquired a couple of baldies in the team now. So you know what I mean. We've got bald power. Got all that going on for us, haven't we? You know what I'm saying? Got yeah. You know, the baldies are hard as hell, man. You got to have baldies. And here's Mutu. Oh, with an effort that's uh, gonna smack right into the defender. Didn't really have the best of. Um, um, opening games, uh, debut games in the last one against Everton. It was um, it was pretty unlucky for him though. Like he uh, he tried quite hard, but uh, was very unlucky to not get his first goal. But uh, you know, we'll see yet. Yeah, we'll see. And that's going to be taken away. His move to himself, who's going to have a pop, and it's going to be over the bar. He was kind of sitting back off it in the end, and he couldn't get that one to uh, find the net. Not too bad so far, but our attacks need to be a little better. And this could be really bad. Oh, it could be bad. Kushak's going to get to it. Here's Sanya. And it's back out to him. Here's Wolsey. And uh, Wolsey couldn't get onto it again. Uh, our attacks haven't been great in this first half, I have to say that. Like, they've kind of broken down right at the last sort of minute. Well, last second, really, not minutes, but... Um, yeah, not particularly great. Here's Mafio, though. Again, they keep blocking out and taking the ball away from us. Looks like we're having a few problems here and there, but uh, other than that, uh, it's not been too bad. So uh, I guess we'll see how we uh, get on in the second half. So here we are then. Um, we've had five shots and I think one on target so far. They've had four shots, two on target. So kind of an even game really so far. <laughs> um, you know, let's see if Mutu can maybe score here. It's Mutu! There it is! Took it round the defender. The goalkeeper came out and Mutu has his first goal for the club. Excellent, excellent stuff. Really well done there. You know what I mean? Showed the strength to hold off the defender. Took it far enough out that the goalkeeper could not get to it. And then obviously just... Uh, he, pr he pretty much just tapped it into an empty net nearly, didn't he? And the goalkeeper was that far out. Not a bad one. Not a bad one. Finally got to his goal. That might get him going now. Um... So yeah, other than that, I think I might bring Chu Young on in the uh, in the next uh, uh, well, maybe in the next sort of like uh, ten minutes or so, something like that. Stay on the man here. That's it. Just stay on him. No reason to make any big tackles there. Sanya, oh, had to get in the way of it. That was Klasnich there. I think. Well, these Klasnich is playing for them. And that's going to be brought down. Oh, and we've lost the ball again here. Not good. Got to get back. Erich is in there. And Sanya. Ooh, Keo. I was expecting him to boot it, but he didn't do that. And uh, taken away again there. Well, this is not particularly good here. Like we, we, we are struggling to get the ball at times. You know what I mean? We are struggling to keep hold of it. And, and get it at times, and that's a good save, and pick it up. Yes, he will. Getting a little bit nervous in this one. And here's Savvy. Well done, Savvy. But here's Mutu. It's Mutu! Oh, good effort on target. Uh, Yarich is coming off a of Simic. Um, I think Walcott's coming off. 
as well. And Saviola's coming off for Chu Young. I can't remember who's Walcott coming off for. Uh, who did I put on now? <laughs> Same old me for getting subs all the time, guys. Uh, here's Matt Gonzalez anyway. What's he uh, going to try and do here? We've got a lot of men forward. But that's going to... Oh, never mind. You know I mean, they are... Where to Bremen? Pretty good at uh, winning the ball back and whatnot here. Proving difficult to um, to play against at times. And pick it up. He does that. I tell you what, they are worrying me a little, though. Because I definitely want to get the win here. Here's Saviola, who's coming off. And that's a great ball through. Oh, oh, and it's there. And it's going to be Mutu again. And it was a, such a good little bit of play by uh, Saviola there. Put the ball through to Benny. Benny hits the post, but Mutu gets the rebound, follows it up. He's on for the hat trick as well. Who knows, he could get it if he's lucky enough. Good little ball through there. Very unlucky with that strike there by Benny. And... Um, Never mind, but I am loving the way we are playing so far this preseason. It's very, very good. Very good. I can't believe this is our fourth game. We're like halfway through. Uh, after this match, we are halfway through the preseason, so um, I'm very much enjoying it. And that's going to be picked up, even though it's offside. I'm going to make some more subs then. I'm going to throw on Yulu, Skertle, Abina, etc. Yuga is going to come on as well. Why not? Might as well use up all seven subs at this point. Um, nothing else to really say. That was the wrong pass there, mid. Just uh, going to see out the rest of this match. I mean, it's interesting, though. I've put Obina on the left of midfield, just for no reason whatsoever. Just to see how he goes. Who knows, maybe he could use his pace, get down that wing. Something like that. And where is that off to? Oh my gosh, we have nobody around to do anything about it. And we get ourselves out of that pickle in the end, which is uh, good. <laughs> it's good. And that's definitely offside. Never mind, Mutu. Come on, man. He's up for the hatch, but he needs to get himself on side here to do it. There's time running out for him to do it now, if he can. Can't remember. I think uh, Saviola got like uh, definitely got a hat trick last season. I remember that. Um, so you know, maybe he can get another one. Here's Mutu, though. He's on a run. It's Mutu. Oh, he's so unlucky. Maybe he could have kept going a little there. Maybe. That's so unlucky from Mutu. And we're not going to win it back. Here's Letalic. Who's just going to keep going. And that's a good ball in. Sanya's not going to deal with it. Picked up by Kushak in the end. Here's Simic. Ball wide to Urbina, and that's not going to be uh, long enough for Chu Young to get onto it. Oh, but that will be. And that's a good ball to Benny. Benny, yes! What a ball. He's assisted now, Mutu. But I tell you what, it's working out for us. It is definitely working out. Some great play. Nice little uh, ball forward there. Took it round him. Tapped it in. That's all it required. Excellent stuff from Mutu. Saw the run there. And then finished it off. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Even still a little bit of time left. Can we, could we get a fourth? Dare we dream to get a fourth? I'd really hope so. <laughs> you have no idea how much I want that Mutu hat trick now, but I don't think it's going to happen. Kushak's to it. Again, Kushak's been alert this game. He's very much been uh, quite impressive. Not been bad at all. Here's Skertle. Obina. Benny. And 
and here he is again here's Maxwell who's uh, going to run into danger and nothing could come of it in the end never mind but Mutu had a very impressive game today and I tell you what Benny was very good as well in that attacking midfield role uh, two excellent signings it has to be said so far so uh, yeah we pretty much dominated and Mutu was the man of the match with a 7.5 Saviola not very impressive today um, it has to be said I mean his rating might have gone up slightly had he assisted um, that Benny's effort uh, that hit the post earlier that where Mutu followed it up maybe it might have been at least a 6.5 with that but I, he played decently but um, not too important like Mutu's outshining him now you know what I mean he used to be the main man but now it's Mutu isn't it so uh, no uh, a great game oh they had Mertesacker as well didn't uh, know that so yeah anyway guys we've had success with Adebayor can you believe that that's unbelievable everything else has broken down but guys but however we had we've got some results here so let's have a look we've got Steen <laughs> Liverpool won to buy Steen Steeny Stein guys and also Yaric there I think it's going to be best that we do get rid of a couple of them Yaric uh, so Rassing have offered 1921 Valencia eight, uh, 1800 and Fenerbahce 1,968. Uh, so uh, Fenerbahce have offered the most for him. So obviously we are going to sell to Fen Sen uh, Fenerbahce. <laughs> Fenerbahce. <laughs> Bachi, Bachi. Uh, obviously. So let's accept that one, guys, for definite. And the other one is Steeny Steiny here. Let's have a look. Liverpool have offered 1,600. Hmm. Manchester City 1500 and Mallorca have offered 1668 um, Mallorca have offered the most so obviously we're going to go with Mallorca aren't we on that one um, yo, God knows why Liverpool want to buy him I've no idea guys it just doesn't make any sense you know what I mean like <laughs> it just doesn't Adebayo though his squad number is number one so we're gonna go ahead and change that quick well guys uh, I think what we'll do is we'll give him the temporary number of 15 for now anyway guys that is pretty much it for this episode but before we end off obviously uh, we're gonna have uh, a quick look at uh, what's been going on see if anything has changed and anything is different so first off let's go to let's check newcomers first see if anything's happened here looks like there might be one or two uh, yeah, it looks like there's been a few actually, maybe, uh, that have entered the um, newcomers here. Um, again, we still need to get that goalkeeper. We're halfway through the pre-season. We don't have a goalkeeper. We do not have a DMF yet either uh, that we need. And considering that we're getting rid of uh, Yarich and Steen, Steeny Stein, um, it looks like we're going to have to... Um, maybe in the episode after the next one is when we do get the funds in for those players that we have sold is maybe then maybe offer some money on the table let's have a look at the non-affiliated quick though uh just to see if there's anybody here so it's so better silver Cahill, who's a center back 21 he's got time to develop i mean okay then but you know it's not a DMF <laughs> uh, getting a little carried away there um, Guthrie he's a CMF uh, hmm. see there's still Terry here and he can play DMF but it's like his stats aren't particularly impressive you know he, if it gets desperate maybe we might go in for him or something Stankovic He's not a DMF. Uh, I don't know. Should I go back in for Stankovic? Maybe. I don't know. I'm not too sure yet. Um, what else have we got here? Is there anybody that can play? You can play DMF. What are your stats like? Your stats aren't too impressive. Uh, what about you? Mm. No, you see, this is the thing now. Now that we're kind of running out of, of stuff. Yeah, there isn't too much. There isn't too much here. Uh, Zarjus, let's have a look. No, he can't play there. 24 years of age. No. Class Jensen, 25 years of age. He's a good goalkeeper. That might be one, guys. I reckon we might go for him in the next episode. Offer him a contract. Oh, no, he's not bald, is he? Oh, I oh, know. Wait, they're all bald, kind of. Why are they? What? 
Are they, no, they're just all bald for some reason. Don't know why. Um, so anyway, guys, uh, we've checked non-affiliated and newcomers. Let's have a quick look at future potential and open to negotiate, of course, again. Um, so, yeah, there's not a whole lot on here. Um, I mean, when I say not a whole lot, I mean, like, a lot of these players, again, you have to bid on them to get them. You know, I mean, there's not really anybody who's good enough but low enough to sort of, like, maybe spend a few thousand on. Maybe you're... I mean, you're a pellet. I mean, this guy right here is pretty good, but he's a centre-back. But do you know what I mean? Like, trying to find the right sort of player... <laughs> Um, is a little different. This guy looks pretty good, but he's not a DMF. Johan Pelle here. Of course, so maybe it's a possibility that we could trade some players or something. I guess the real thing that we're going to have to do is have a look at some of these players um, once we get that money in and see how much we've realistically got. Um, in fact, it should actually tell us saying that. Uh, let me just check through this yet. Um, yeah, so as all these, it's pretty much the same, isn't it? Um, so yeah, DMFs, DMFs, anybody for DMF? Your DMF? Eh, you look okay, I suppose, but again, it's that thing, isn't it? It's that thing of do we do it or not? See, this is one of the guys that you wanted me to sign, but see, it might not happen. You know what I mean? It, it's, it's very debatable. It depends what happens in the next episode. So I guess we'll look forward to that. Um, but if we do have a look at the expected earnings, um, as you can see, um, we're going to be all right. There's nothing to worry about right now once we get these um, deals completed here. So, uh, yeah, guys. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there, guys. As you can see, team salary has gone up to 12,000. Um, funds are 18,000. So, um, we're still uh, we're still good at the moment. So, uh, yeah, please do comment, rate, subscribe, and share as always, guys. And I will see you for the next preseason game, the fifth one against Hanover 96 next week. So, take care. See you then.